If you're one of the many people who hate paying Royal Clampers any money, you'll want to know how not to. So here's our essential guide. Firstly, always check the clampers have the landowner's permission to operate. Without that, it's a jailable offence of obtaining money by deception. Secondly, if the warning signs are difficult to see, take photos and complain to the small claims court. This firm was prosecuted for failing to display proper signs. But beware, if the signs are clearly posted and you read them, that's tantamount to agreeing to a contract to be clamped. Thirdly, if you get nobbled by one of these smaller devices, just try driving off. It's against the law, but you may be willing to take the risk in a bid for freedom. Beware of scratched wheels, though. For some even naughtier techniques, we went to the secret headquarters of an anti-clamping website run by a man known only as Alf. He gets loads of correspondence from angry clampees who freed themselves, and he now knows every trick in the book, even if they're not actually legal. The weakest link on, on any of these yep. is always the padlock. What we encourage people to do is always carry something in the boot that's going to get these off. Uh -huh. You know, like a hacksaw, a couple of quid, yep. hammer and chisel. Yeah. What you need to do is, is always hit down. That padlock will always be exposed, right. always. Just place it on there, hold it tight, quick tap. That'll come off. Bolt croppers are the best. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Just so <laughs> happens that I always carry a pair with me. I'd like to do it because I like to feel you powerful. See. Just put that on there like that. <laughs> Job done. Sorted. Simple as that. For some of them, Alf showed me that you don't even need tools. Just brute yeah. force. <laughs> Letting some air out of the tyres <laughs> makes life much easier. <sighs> I did it. And I've only got one tiny scratch knuckle. <laughs> For the real tough ones, though, you need to get serious. Now, what we're about to show you should never be performed on a local authority's clamp. They're much more likely to sue for criminal damage than a cowboy clamper. By all means, take the risk if you've been caught on private ground, though. A court sided with a man earlier this year who forcibly removed his clamp because he successfully argued that he hadn't consented to being clamped. What a result. And if you don't carry an angle grinder, don't worry. We know a man who does. Angle grinder man is, for real, removing, on average, five clamps a week. And he's never been caught. I'm definitely more concerned with what's moral than, than with what's legal. Clamping fines are nothing more than an unfair tax levied on people who are forced into breaking the law on a regular basis because we haven't got enough parking spaces. I'm only a phone call away.